First, I'd like to uh, take a moment to recognize Mike Knight and Ron Sebastian from the NCAA. They're sitting back here with us for putting on a great regional. Our staff, Kevin O'Connell, Senior Associate AD, and John Burke, Kelly Lewis, Clark Cox, Jeff Davis, and all of our crew here. It's very difficult to put an operation together, and certainly last night fighting the, the weather that came through was very difficult, and they responded in grand fashion very quickly to get things turned around and get us back out there today. So hats off to them and to uh, Coach Pete Dunn and Stetson. Congratulations on a great year, winning the A-10, a very difficult opponent. They're very good, they're tough to get out. I felt like today, that seventh inning, they put together so many quality of bats against Matt, and he escaped with only one run uh, being scored in that inning was the difference in the whole ball game for me. But Coach Dunn has done a great job for a long, long time. He's a very classy coach, a great coach, and enjoy playing against uh, a team like Stetson. Ray, I mean, what did you think last night? I mean, obviously, you guys are at a point where maybe you could have done some more damage when before that storm comes in. Did you, I mean, did you have a nervous night worrying about what might happen once you got back out? Uh, th there was a tremendous amount of anxiousness on my part and anxiety and tension. And, you know, I, I knew the, I didn't take the severity of the weather last night lightly, but I, I kept thinking, well, it's going to clear because I think Clemson had un undergone a delay and it blew through and they played. But we didn't have any power. So we didn't have any lights, and I kept thinking, well, we might be able to finish, but then it, it really was nasty, and, and I kind of extinguished that. Uh, but, you know, you've got some innings to play, and um, you, you're trying to figure out your rotation, and Boris Kumis wanted to go back out today. He felt great. Uh, we had to get through that and had to set Webb up to come out of the bullpen, that kind of thing, and uh, then I get home, and, you know, you're, you're tracking. You're tracking the other games and you're watching Fullerton and Illinois and yeah, it's crazy. You can't sleep and and uh, one o'clock like they never got here today. I mean if it had been a seven o'clock game I would have I wouldn't have made it. But uh, one o'clock was, was long enough. But uh, that's part of it when you're in this business there's a lot of anxious moments and the respect that, that I have for Stetson and the program and their you know, their, their hits to to walks and strikeouts were close. They have a great offensive team, and I knew it was going to be very difficult. It kind of unfolded exactly like I thought it would. I didn't really plan on getting a couple of runs at the end, which we needed every one of them, but I knew it was going to be a battle for us. And, uh, you know, Matt Price, we put him in a very difficult situation today, but you can't, you know, you can't always go three outs or four outs. And sometimes the game gets decided ten outs before the end, and that sort of was the mentality there. And, that was one of the most impressive endings of the year for me and for them. I, I felt, I told Coach Dunn afterwards, I'd never seen two or three hitters have the quality of bats in a row that your guys did. And then we escaped with only one run being scored. That was a tremendous part of that game. Our, um, our guys have played hard, they've been competitive. Um, we're not good enough to throw our gloves out, but we've been able to make some good things happen. And, I'm, I'm proud of these guys. They've, they've done some good things and stayed in position to win. And Matt Price with two saves this weekend. He made my all-tournament team, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're done great for us. Yeah. Um, Ray, you guys had some success in the Super Regional era. What, um, going back again, what's your sense of satisfaction, especially now that you're hosting one for the first time since so forth? Well, there's probably not that much satisfaction. Everything's different. Every game's different, and, and the time is different than, than years past. So it's a whole new experience in one way. The other way is we've got some guys that have played before. So uh, sometimes as a coach over the course of a season or over the course of years, you get in situations where you worry about your personnel and having not been there enough. Our guys have been there enough. So I, I feel good knowing whatever happens next weekend, is going to happen because of baseball. It's not. It's not going to be anxiety or tension or inexperience. If we play poorly, we're going to lose. If we play well, we got a good chance to win. And um, I, I feel good about going into it that way because of having veteran players. Ray, um, talk about Matt's seventh inning again. Just the fact uh, I think he threw 25 pitches in the inning, and those were. 
25 packs and pitches and all that, and oh. the way he just kept pounding the zone. Without a doubt, they would not miss. They would not take a swing and miss. He would make a good pitch and they would foul it off. And uh, so many times when hitters continue to foul pitches off, they win battles. Um, it seems like it, uh, the course of baseball, you, when you battle enough of two strikes and you foul off six, seven balls, you end up getting a hit more times than not. And, and he kept making pretty good pitches. Fortunately, he's been in that he's been in that circumstance many, many times in his career here. So uh, that was that was big. I, I'm so proud of him, and yeah, I hate, hate to put him in those situations all the time, but that's what he's accustomed to. And, and uh, it was a tremendous inning for us. Ray, what was the thought on putting in Taylor in the fifth? Webb had gotten two strikeouts, but then uh, walked the next guy. Was it just matchup, or did you want to go ahead and, and get Taylor in there? Well, we wanted to do matchup. We, you know, we went into it today thinking Tyler Webb could go two innings. He was throwing the ball pretty well, uh, but he he ended up, you know, walking their leadoff guy. Made a couple of good pitches, didn't get the check swing call, and he, um, you know, he's a guy that just hasn't been there quite as much as uh, Taylor. And, and we had the matchup as well with the righties coming, so we went ahead and and you know went. We'd like to have been one inning deeper, but you know, I don't. I have a hard enough time sleeping as it is. I don't want to go home and thinking, why did I wait one more inning? Why did I wait two more outs? I don't want to do that. So we, we try to take the mentality, Coach Myers and I, that, you know, we try to save the game or win the game whenever the circumstance arises, whether it's the end of the eighth or the end of the sixth. So uh, that's what we did, did with those guys. How much how much is uh, Matt's stamina this year and versatility helped you guys? In, in those big series and big moments when you do need him that he can go to a group? He has a workhorse. I mean, he, he, he's without a doubt, he's, you know, I guess it was, I saw the transformation probably prior to Christmas last year. He, he was, um, you know, a guy that looked good as a freshman, was getting some innings. He broke his wrist against Citadel, if you remember. And um, he came back, but he just seemed like another guy. And he got challenged a little bit. I think it was a situation where he was called out, quite honestly, um, by Coach Calvi at the time, and said, "You, you know, you can be a pretty good guy, or you can be somebody different. And you got to change your conditioning. You got to change a lot of things. Your presence." And and he was fine as he was. He wasn't like he wasn't giving enough effort, but he got challenged to ratchet up a notch, and um, he got in a lot better shape. And I think that what goes along with that is confidence and competitiveness. And then you get thrown in some situations, you have some success, and he's got some ability. And he, he was able to perform for us in some most difficult circumstances. Um, he, he's, been, he's been very special for us, but he, you know, he's very composed. He, he, he has ice water in his veins. He's, you're going to get something, you know, you, and you feel good about what you get. If it's not good enough, you, you don't feel bad about it because you got the right guy out there. Coach, I know you don't want to take regional titles for granted, but obviously there wasn't a huge celebration because of what you guys have accomplished, not just last year, but overall. But So how nice is it for you as a head coach to know that the regional titles don't elicit a huge celebration from your players when it's over? Well, I like that. However, you know, I think it's okay to celebrate, and, and it's, I think it's more common when you have guys that haven't been there very often. And, and it's okay either way, I think. But, uh, you know, we got some guys on this team that have won some, and. They know that today wasn't the last game, and you, you, they were composed about it and very happy, of course, but there's experience enough that you don't have to, you can be happy today, but you don't have to have a dog pop. And um, that, that's, that's good to see from my vantage point, but I would have been okay if it would have been different. I, it's college baseball. I think it's okay to show your emotions and wear them on your sleeve, so it's, it's all good. Explain the significance of what a series with Clemson would mean for this city. You mean economically or the craziness? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I was, I guess we can't convert Williams Bryce into a baseball stadium. I mean, there's no qu question uh, that it, it would be at a, a fever pitch for college baseball. And, uh, you know, if, if they if they ended up winning today, they were short of getting a, a South Carolina team back to the College World Series. and would be crazy. It would be, as Wingo said, it would be most unique and a lot of fun for everybody. And I think it's great for our game. It speaks volumes about 
you know, programs and, and uh, the importance of college baseball in this state. And then just sort of sandwiched in this weekend too is what you'll be watching tonight and tomorrow. You know, what do you look for for your guys and what are you hoping for for the ones that are out? You referring to the draft? I am. Um, you want me to answer this politically or selfishly? <laughs> How you like? All my guys go undrafted? I mean, <laughs> no, I, I, um, I hope, first of all, that I hope that Jackie Bradley gets treated fairly based on his value as a baseball player and as a young man and what he can bring to an organization. As much as I'd like to have him back, I think he's one of the top players in the draft. I think he went into the season maybe being ranked in the top 12 or 15. I hope that somebody recognizes his value still in that area. I, I think that that's where it should be. Um, and we'll, we'll just have to see, but we're going to have, you know, we're going to have a number of guys drafted and certainly some signees as well. It's, um, that, that is a, there's a lot of craziness that goes on with the draft as, as you know, following college baseball and who's going and coming and who signs and, and those kind of things. But we have a very talented recruiting class and it's probably going to take, we're going to take a few hits in there. Um, there's a chance that a couple of our current players Maybe that don't go where they would like to. We we can get them back, but we're gonna have we're gonna have to go through some issues with that. Thank goodness we won this afternoon. We weren't playing during the at least the first round and the supplemental round tonight, but it goes on tomorrow too, as you know, and then the next day. So we'll see. We've been dealing with we're dealing with this for years. If you have good players and you sign good players, those are issues that you have to deal with. <laughs>